It was caught on camera. A downtown Detroit bar targeted after a man throws a chair through the front window. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pamela Osborne. And I'm Will Jones. This happened around four this morning at Cafe de Mungo Speak Easy on Grids Wall in downtown Detroit. Victor Williams joins us live. Victor, the owner of the bar, hopes that video will help police identify the person responsible. Yeah, that is correct, Pam and Will. And, you know, these chairs and tables, they sit out here even when the speakeasy is closed. The owner tells me he never thought that someone would use one of these items to destroy part of the building. He just looked both ways and took off running. Larry Mungo is having the hardest time figuring out why someone would want to throw a chair through the window of his business, Cafe de Mungo's Speakeasy. When you look at that walk, that man wasn't drunk. You know this man need help, and he looks preppy. Surveillance video captures the strange occurrence around 4.41 a.m. Sunday morning. You see a young man wearing a shirt that says manic in green letters, making his way down the sidewalk when he stops to take a moment to look at the storefront. For whatever reason, he then decides to pick up a chair, launching it into the building, shattering the glass window before running away. Bar down the street, the owner told me he has been in and out of their club and they had to put him out. Larry, just like so many people watching, is confused by the man's actions, wondering what will possess him to do such a thing. But he believes it's a red flag for something that could be more disturbing. He threw that chair through that window as a way to handle his anger. Then I thought about every mass shooter had a beginning. I want to make the world feel as miserable as I am. This is what the window now looks like from the inside, boarded up and awaiting repairs. Sadly, now that Larry has had to attend to fixing up the place, he's being pulled away from being his wife's caretaker as she recovers from an illness. I haven't been to sleep since then. Cooking, shopping, bathing her. It wasn't just a broken window. It caused a lot of stress. Now another man who entered the building after the damage was done was arrested. After cops took a look at the video, they realized they were looking for someone else. And as we know, the search continues. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor, thanks.